Okay, what I'm presenting today is going to be part and parcel also of the evaluation and giving the players, the self-empowered players, the tools and skill set to maximise their growth and potential in Soccer Tough, also known as the Ronaldo Recipe. So the first area of the Ronaldo Recipe is our training script. Our training script, when we come, in reference in Ronaldo, when he was 11, 10 years of age, when he was starting out, the first thing he was encouraged to have is an unbreakable body language. For example, if I go around in my daily life with my body shape like this, it circulates negativity, I'm not going to be positive, anything going wrong, it's just going to manifest itself. Okay? Whereas to this day, if I go in with my body position, I'm conscious, feed the brain, I'm also as I come in, so my body language is positive, it's unbreakable. Regardless, I always keep going back, I have a positive body language. I'm also in my appearance. So number one, the training script on arrival. Just instead of telling the coach that you're ready, I'm going to show you that I'm ready with my body, body language and also my pride in appearance as I come into the training script. The second point is win. We all hear the term very commonly used, win. But what really is win? Win in our development years here at Charlotte Premier is what's important now. W-I-N. What is important now? For example, there's not a player out there that goes into a game, let alone training session, worried about the 90th minute. It's about what is important in that moment. So from the training script, on arrival, what is important now is that my mind is growth mindset. My body language is good. I'm coming in, I'm into a culture of development. Right? I'm going into my biomechanics, I need to work on my biomechanics before the session starts. So win, I'm winning in that moment. In relation to that term in the game, if we have the first minute, the 90th minute, if I think about the 90th minute, if I think about winning the game, what minute am I already in? The 90th minute. What, surf, what good's that gonna serve? I have to focus on the minute by minute by minute process. I have to have self-talk. I have to stay positive, okay? I have to have the ability to kill the ants. Fun little term, but the ants is an acronym for Automatic Negative Thought Syndrome. So around our head all the time, regardless of the age, stage, ability level, we always face those ants, those Automatic Negative Thought Syndrome. I cannot do it, I'm frustrated. Constantly self-talk strengthens your ability to kill the ants. It strengthens your ability to win, to stay in the moment, to be strong. Now, certainly on the training script and your performance, always have a mindset and the coaches, you coaches out there, encourage the players to constantly keep asking what looks better, well, regardless of the topic, so if it, maybe it's a pass, maybe it's a dribble, what looks better? Simple little activity, if you will, right now, sitting at home, sitting on the training ground. Can you visualise your favourite player, Ronaldo? You can probably visualise how he's moving, what uniform he's wearing. The great players that I've been fortunate enough to work with and others out there, from a very young age, they formulate the habit of visualisation. What looks better than where I am? Seeing myself playing better. What looks better? How does it feel? In all honesty, you don't need a coach to tell you sometimes when it's better. Because it feels better. And it also helps you tie in with looking. The soft skills, if you like. Can you develop those soft skills as a developing soccer player? Okay? Um, and again, furthermore, so that's our training script, as we take it into the game script, the best soccer players in the world spend a total in 90 minutes in, on possession of the soccer ball, 1 minute and 14 seconds. That's 88 minutes around and away from the ball. So again, they stay in that world of win. 
How is my body shape? Am I affecting the game? Am I tracking back? Am I making the correct runs? What's my attitude like? Okay? It's ultimately, in conclusion, what I wish for every single player within our club is the, the biggest golden thing. Okay? All of you, these bars, are different journeys. You're all on different journeys. But ultimately, ultimately, is I want you to have the best gift of all, to have no regrets. Because the horrible part is, with regrets, not a thing you can do about it. You can't go backwards. No man can turn the hand back and go through this again. Right? So it's very important that we address the roof. You're constantly reaffirming that you're developing and you're growing and you stretch and grow and you stretch and grow. What looks better? What feels better? I want to finish by sharing a story with, um, that was related to me by next uh, player, Roy Keane, who's at Sunderland, talking about Ronaldo. He went to a young youth centre in Manchester and a young man said to him, Cristiano, you're very successful. He said, that's very kind of you, but no, I'm not. Meaning, and we silence in the room, because to him, who knows how far his journey is. Could be another four ballon d'ors World Cup. It's that growth mindset that he's had since he was the same age as you now. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years of age. It's stayed with him. It's intrinsic. It's part of his grey matter, his self-talk. So again, if it's good enough for the very, very best in the world, I want to be good enough for you. I thank you, and again, growth mindset. Thank you.